Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, January 12th. And what a difference a day makes after record-breaking warmth yesterday. Here in Breckenridge, we had a high of 57.1. That broke the old record of 54 set in 1975. And now we've got snow falling. We had freezing rain overnight, a good coating out there. And now with the snow on top, we've got very dangerous conditions out there. We expect about anywhere from one to as much as three inches of snow to fall. Uh, this morning from around the uh, Tri-Cities back towards uh, Lansing to the south and east. And again, the uh, roads are going to be very dangerous out there. And the cold's going to last in the early next week. Another clipper system will bring us a good shot of snow as we get into Sunday night and Monday. One to three, two to four inch type snow as it looks right now. And maybe another system late next week. If we look at the wrap for yesterday, we had a high of 57.1. Again, that was a record high. A low of 45.7 for a very warm day, 1,700 of an inch of precipitation. And as of 7 o'clock this morning, 1.2 inches of new snow. We got about an inch of snow on the ground. And so far now, we're up to 17.3 inches so far for the season. And again, this was this morning around 6.30 when I came in. Uh, again, snow was just a falling. We even had a few uh, light raindrops mixed in, or freezing rain rather, mixed in with it. But by this time, it was mainly all snow across to the area. And if we look at temperatures this morning, temperatures in the low to mid-20s, they're going to continue to fall from the mid-30s across the southeast part of the state. They'll fall all day long until we get down to about 9 as we uh, uh, get into overnight lows tonight. As far as radar, you can see that snow actually trying to back bill just a little bit off to the west. And as long as uh, this is moving to the northeast and only very slowly going to settle to the southeast. So it looks like several more hours of uh, a pretty decent snow across much of the Saginaw Valley, and you'll see this transition, this rain to snow here over the next few hours off into the southeast part of the state. Again, pretty good amount of snow may fall here as you get into southwest Ontario, maybe extreme southeast uh, lower Michigan. You could have uh, certainly four or more inches here over the next 36 hours. As far as the weather map this morning, again, here's our uh, developing low pressure system. The cold front uh, very slowly sagging to the southeast. And again, this area I've got in, in, in this uh, outline here, I think another two to three inches of snow is very possible. And that comes right up into about the Alma area and off points to the south and east. And again, maybe some heavier snow as you get in towards St. Thomas, maybe Tupperville and London. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but certainly the potential is there for uh, four or more inches of snow. And if we look at the quantitative precipitation amounts you can see over the next seven days, I think these are already over or well underdone. We've already seen over that uh, tenth of an inch, and that was as of uh, the uh, 06Z run. Again, I think uh, we're going to see more snow on Sunday as well. But certainly the heaviest snows are going to be off into portions of northeastern Ohio, all the way up the uh, St. Lawrence Seaway, as we talked about the last couple of days. As far as snowfall on the WPC over the next 72 hours, you can see uh, pretty aggressive from around the uh, mid Michigan area and off to the southeast where again, several inches of snow could fall uh, here over the next 24 hours and then with that clipper system. And you can see on the GFS, the next 72 hours actually puts potentially four to six inches of snow across much of the Saginaw Valley area. And again, we'll keep an eye on that. And here's our big snowstorm off to the southeast and that'll stay away from the state. If we look at the forecast for today, again, maybe one to three more inches of snow, especially in the southeastern portions of the state. Highs were this morning in the mid-20s. They were in the mid-30s as of uh, 7 o'clock in southeast lower Michigan. But those temperatures are going to fall like a rock down to about 6, 7 degrees tonight. Highs only in the teens and uh, low 20s over the weekend. And then as we get into Sunday night and Monday, snow becomes very likely again with another 1 to 3 or 2 to 3 inches of snow as it looks right now. And we'll continue to be cold on Tuesday with a couple leftover snow showers. Highs in the low 20s, lows in the teens. So a very wintry-like pattern coming up here over the next five days. On the weather watch, you can see the winter storm warnings with the big storm off to the south. Winter weather advisories for freezing rain and snow across lower Michigan and also for some lake effect in the UP. Wind uh, chill advisories off uh, to our northwest with uh, wind chills down around 20 below zero. And that cold air is going to continue to filter right into the state for a very cold weekend coming up. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.